Let's take a moment to look at the behavior of the offset distance of a conformal component in OpenVSP. Now, if we zoom in back here at the tail, we can start playing around with this offset distance. Now, if we increase, notice that positive is a normal offset distance from this parent surface, and it moves towards the internal. If we set this to be negative, it's now offset normal external. So, at all times, a conformal component is trying to maintain a constant normal offset distance to the surface, regardless of whether you set it inside or outside. But it's important to note that at some point, particularly with these thin, sharp tails like this, the normal distance is going to intersect. So the distance from the tail to the tail point here is going to be larger than whatever your offset distance was. And in fact, you can take this and make it very, very large, and so large, in fact, that it collapses down to a single line. Now, if you have, say, camber to a geometry or you have some manipulation, uh, let's back this out here and go to our wing conform. Let's give this a little bit of, say, incidence and play around with that somewhat. Notice what happens if we come to this and try and give it some more offset. Well, what it's done is it's collapsed it down into kind of like a degenerate geometry of the wing. So it's trying to maintain that offset distance, but it can't get any flatter. So what it's doing is it's computing where it needs to be at all of these points, but really you've just collapsed it down into something like a potato chip. So that should give you an overview of how the offset behaves.